I remember, I think it was the first time I was in Russia and somebody came to one of my talks and he was really troubled. He says, I really want to believe. He says, but I keep hearing about some people making strong cases that the law of attraction doesn't work and other people making strong cases that it does work. And he says, I'm being torn. And I pointed out, I said, do you realize that those people that don't believe the law of attraction work have all attracted each other? They're all in a group. They're all like-minded. Have you wondered why? And those people who are supporting the law of attraction are also in a group. They're all like-minded. They all seem to have the same beliefs. <laughs> have you wondered why? And so we are on a mass level grouping and we're grouping based on our unconscious beliefs. Now, this is a bigger subject than was ever touched by the movie, The Secret. In fact, uh, Rhonda Byrne probably knows about it, but she never made any movies or clips or writings that I'm aware of to explain this. This is a very important thing. When we are personally believing in something, we tend to attract people that believe with it or believe directly against it. And both of them are stemming from our unconscious beliefs. When I explained it to the guy in Russia, he started nodding like he got it. He got it. It's like from his perspective, he can see both camps. There's the non-believers, they're, they're believers. And even the non-believers attracted themselves to the other non-believers mm. using the very thing they didn't believe in. The law of attraction. <laughs>